After inputting data in SPSS, obviously you will need to get results. In the course of this video, we are going to see how to get information relating to descriptive, descriptive statistics and information relative, relating to inferential statistics. So, for descriptive statistics, we are going to be producing information should in case you want to create tables and charts concerning the, 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 the questionnaire you have actually put in place in SPSS. You can equally produce um, means for a set of variables and uh, have a summarized mean for all of them and uh, you can use that to interpret all your questions at the level of the descriptive statistics inferential statistics in this case for this exercise we are going to be touching two uh, techniques which is the linear regression and the correlation the Pearson's moment correlation coefficient we are going to see all of that here before you get into analyzing this data you can realize that in here you have many questions and these questions are categorized in terms of some particular variables so now the question is if i want to test my hypothesis or if i want to get some information concerning the hypothesis how will i actually do there are many questions i need to test dependent against independent variable how do i go about it before you go into testing your hypothesis obviously you will have to combine or combine all the questions relating to particular uh, uh, variables like for example you have dependent variables for the case of this exercise we had four independent variable and one dependent variable and we're going to be looking at the relationship between each independent variable and the one dependent variable we had so how do you get the one dependent variable you have given that you have here 30 questions so you have to get to transform you go to compute variables this is where you are going to summarize all questions relating to a particular variable this is where you do it now under target variable i'm just going to put a description so i'm going to start look at very well i'm going to start with the first variable demographic information is not going to be a problem at this level no we'll start by analyzing um uh, looking at questions relating to roles played so here i'll just put um, a description or a name i click on types and variable under label i'm going to put role split because here i want to summarize all the questions i want to create the mean of all the questions which are related to roles played so what do i do i take a continuum and from here i have to compute all of those things now at the level of these questions where these questions are actually located i right click and i take display variable names because yeah it will easily help me to identify the questions which are related to roles played like when i was creating each of the questions i made roles played to be r1 r2 r3 so this is going to help me very much so what am i trying to do here i'm trying to get a mean let's say an average uh in terms of the answers or the responses relating to these questions and relating to this particular variable so what do i do i have to open i have to put a small formula which will help me to calculate the average of roles played so what do i do i open brackets so here i have brackets i click on it and you see it's going to open and close bracket so inside i have to compute all the questions relating to roles played so i'll double click on this plus i click plus this plus this plus this plus this so those are the five the five uh, variables the five questions in which are relating related to the variable role split which is an independent variable now from here what happens is that i'm going to i'm going to divide this by the number of questions i'm going to divide this by the number of questions so since there are five questions i'm going to do divided by five and from there i take okay so it is going to compute it is going to summarize all of it so from here you can see one line one more line has added and it is in measure it is measured in scale you allow it the way it is you can see the ROL that i wrote role played and so on so i get back to transform and i'm going to do for the next variable what is the next variable yeah at the level of next variable at the level of the question the questionnaire had problems slash challenges faced so yeah i'll come at the level of the target variable i'll just put uh, just something like this then at the level of the type and label i'll remove this and I'll put problem slash challenges fist and i take uh continue from here now i'm going to remove these questions because there are no more questions relating to problems faced so you can see i have already questions here for problem faced i'm just going to select the one the first one plus 
the second one plus the third one plus the fourth one plus the fifth one what i'm doing is that i'm double clicking i'm pressing plus on my keyboard same as i could be pressing plus here or when i click on it like this i can come and click on this arrow for it to get this other side so here there are five questions for problems uh, faced i will divide it by five and i will take okay so you see uh, this is actually the syntax that we could uh, actually put in SPSS in order to compute this information. But no big deal. I'll just go back to transform again to get to or to analyze the third hypothesis or the third variable. So from here, we ended at the level of problem phase. So the next one is going to be what? The next one is going to be causes of failure. So what I have here, causes of failure, I'm going to copy this. I'll come here. I'll just put something. Then in here, I'm going to remove all of this and instead put causes of failure then i take okay i'm going to reduce or remove these questions that i imputed uh and i'm going to select this plus this plus this plus this plus this so there are still five questions i divided by five remember if you have forgotten for me to have these symbols here these symbols r p c they are the names i gave to to to, to, to every question right and for me to have it displayed this way because it will first of all be like this i will right click on any of them instead of allowing display variable label i'm going to display variable name so that is just it so from here i take okay and you can see the third variable has been analyzed or has been transformed i'll go back to transform because i still have one more variable to transform which is what which is uh, measure measures put in place so i'll have measures put in place yeah i'll change it and uh, the type i'm going to put measures put in place good so i'll change down the questions it is m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 good now you see here there are four questions i'll no more divide it by five because they are not five questions so i'm going to divide it by four because actually there are four questions and i take okay it is going to compute it now which other variable is left organizational goal organizational goal which is what the dependent variable so i get back to sps i go to transform com uh, com uh, compute variables and uh, from here i am working with organizational performance so yeah i have i'm going to delete this and now put something else and uh, i go and type i will now put organizational performance so from here i take continue and uh, i'm going to change the questions from what is there to organizational performance i already had questions on organizational performance plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this okay you see there are six questions i'm going to divide by six and i take okay so these are just syntax i can close this i can close this i must not save it so when i get back to my spss you can see aside the 30 questions these are the different different variables that were computed can you see that for all um so you could realize that for all the dependent for all the independent variables i have summarized it all at the level of transform and you can see here the way it is when you go to the data view when you go to the end you are going to see now row problem cause measure organization now what you are seeing here is the mean in terms of each each line each line each line each line each line like line 24 if you come here you are going to see the mean for each is 1.2 1.2 1.4 1.25 1 and so on so don't worry about that they don't have real values once you have computed or once you have transformed or summarized all the questions relating to particular objective or to particular uh, independent variables you have this you are good to go in testing your hypothesis now before we go into testing hypothesis we are going to work on descriptive statistics and we are going to start by seeing how to produce your tables and charts like uh, your pie charts or histogram or whatsoever with the table strain the different percentages and the different number of people who either agree or disagree or whatsoever so for me to do that i go to analyze under analyze you are going to see descriptive statistics simple descriptive statistics under descriptive statistics if you actually want to come up with those frequencies those tables and figures and everything you go to frequency when you take frequency yeah let's imagine that i want to 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 produce a frequency table and the chart for all the equations because obviously under descriptive statistics you are going to create uh, your, your 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 frequency tables for all the equations so what do i do I click on the first one which is gender i hold shift on my keyboard shift i hold shift on my keyboard i go and i select the last variable please the last variable is this you see i selected all i take this i take it this way so all the questions has been sent under variables it is for me to produce what the the, the frequency tables and charts so i can now go to charts 
because here if i just pick okay it will not produce anyone like known so i for example want to produce pie charts and i want the percentages instead so i take continue here display frequency table good so from here i can take okay when i take okay i just have to be patient for my tables and charts to be produced so we'll wait a moment you will soon see how the tables are going to be produced now when the tables will be produced all the tables will come packed on one side and all the charts will come back on the other side look at here you can already see tables gender status age you see all the tables are packed on one on the first part then now all the charts are also packed on the first on the on the on the next part below so they are not like the the table for charts then the the, the, the bar chart table for from for for gender um uh, the bar chart for gender and so on no it does not come like that so in this case you can export it now to word and you try and arrange it you try and put the pie chart uh where they are supposed to be but still from sbss what can we do here at the end by your side here you can see all of those things down here you can see the title for each each uh, uh pie chart and from here you can see the title for each each um, um a table so what i'm going to do this gender and this is gender what do i do i carry i hold and i drag gender to come and stand on that gender see what has happened i've carried it gender gender so here i have marital status i carry it up and i drop it under marital status you can see now the pie chart is below its table age of respondent i go and put it under age uh, education level i go and put it under education uh, longevity in service i go and put it under longevity in service and so on so this is how we can you can do in can make in such a way that they can be standing together now when you are done um, creating your tables and charts you will want to put it in a word document you go to files and you export it so when you take export you go to browse you look for where you want to save it in your machine like for example if i want to put it on the on the desktop i'll come here i'll choose desktop and uh, i give the name of the document of the word document of course so i'm going to call it descriptive i'm going to call it descriptive and i take save from here when i take okay it is going to load for a moment and automatically it is going to export it on my desktop so if i go to my desktop now you see a document called descriptive can you see this this is a document descriptive if i double click on it or if i open it you are going to see a word document will appear with all these things all these things so the the basically the first tables that you're going to see will not be too important for you you can delete as from before the frequency tables you can delete this ones uh you will likely not use it there are more of syntax there so now you can see gender the pie chart for gender marital status for each of them each of them appearing so you can see it has already left from um, um uh, spss and it is in a word document now what do i do i'm going to close this this is already very okay now i go back to um uh, spss i'm going to close this they're asking if i want to save this data in spss format no i have already converted into into word so no need for me to do that again so from here what do i do should in case i want to produce uh descriptive statistics not tables and charts but i want to do mean the mean for each each question how do i go about it if i go to analyze i go to descriptive yeah the means are not kind of frequencies right of course i'll just choose descriptive on that descriptive now i'm not going to create a mean for this demographic information i'm going to create a mean for the first or for the for the different variables that exist or, or that i earlier created so i had role played right i'm going to select from the first role played with because there are five questions i'm going to hold the shift key on my keyboard take the last one and send it the other way so i'm going to create a table for means for these variables which is role played what do i do is there anything to choose now i go on options here on options i will not like to have minimum maximum i will not like to have standard deviation but of course if you want to have them no problem you can allow them tick yeah all i want is mean when i take continue and i take okay it is going to create me a table for mean for each questions you will have the total number of respondents and the mean associated so from here we are going to see maybe in the next video how to interpret this means so that is it but if you are to produce means the first thing you have to understand is that your demographic information you are going to produce normally their frequency tables in terms of tables and charts or uh, histogram now for the different main variables like the independent variables and a dependent variable what you are going to do is that you are going to go to descriptive you instead take descriptive and produce the means this case is in uh, this all what i'm saying is in case you don't want to produce all tables and charts as frequencies you want your main um, uh, hypothesis to be in terms of means and you can now produce a scale where you will interpret them same thing after you must have produced all the table like let me go to descriptive again 
and uh, i'm going to remove these other people all these other questions i'm going to remove them i'm taking the first one i'm taking shift to select the last one i'm taking it the other way so for example now i want to bring in problem face i'm going to select all of them take them this way and take okay so you see this is already the second table ready from here if you want to export no problem you go to file and you export just like we did with the previous one now what happens when you have done all that you can go and interpret it so we're going to see that one in the next video but for now let's concentrate on how to test hypothesis like i said earlier before we're going to be testing hypothesis using the technique uh, linear regression and uh, correlation uniquely so if i want to test the hypothesis what do i do i come to analyze or let me first of all close this page i don't want to save it i'll go to analyze then i'll come let's start with correlation I take correlation and I want to make a bivariate correlation, meaning look at the relationship between one dependent variable and one independent variable. So what do I do? I chose a bi bivariate. Now you can see there are many questions here, but already we summarized all those questions into the different different variables. So these are the four independent variables and organizational good is the only dependent variable. So I want to look at the relationship between role play. I send it that way and organizational performance. I send it this way. You see, in this case, it's only these two, these two um, uh, things that these two skills that i'm going to test because i've already summarized all the questions relating to each of them so i can allow a two-tail test which is also very good and i take okay from here you can see already the correlation table has been produced and uh, you can now export it to uh, interpret but before export you can still decide and do all the correlations i will take the next one now i want to test problem uh, uh, challenge so i'm going to carry this and put it on top of organizational performance remove row uh i'm always making sure that the dependent variable is below the independent variable the independent variable is up and the dependent variable is down so that we can be uh, unanimous in all our work so when i take okay you see it is going to produce the next table with all its figures and so on and so forth so that is it for correlation you can do it for all the three variables or all the four variables that we have here for example i'm going to take now the next variable and remove this variable i test it i go back to analyze i do it for the last one so the last one is now measurements i put it up this one i put it behind and i take okay so this is what you are going to export and what you are going to be interpreting at the level of your inferential statistics should in case your method is the pearson's moment correlation coefficient you are using so if you are not using the correlation you can equally use the linear regression so to test it you come to analyze you come to uh, regression and you can take linear which represents linear regression now from here you can test one independent variable and one dependent variable or you can decide and put your one dependent variable with all your independent variables like for example here the dependent variable is organizational but when i click on it i'm going to take it under dependent variable and uh, all these other variables are independent variable i take it under the independent variable and uh, from here is there anything to modify not really i just take okay and you can see the three tables in linear regression will appear the mode salary you're going to see the ANOVA and the coefficient now it is just left for you to interpret which we are going to see in the next video thanks for watching if you have any questions you can drop it as comment and in the description